It's quite simple. Press the free like button if you think that it's time for Tony Khan man to be a on-screen TV character as an authority figure. Because then, I think people will give him a pass for his behavior on social media. I truly, truly believe that CM Junk is the Aaron Rodgers of fake pro wrestling. And here's why. There was a commercial last year on NBC. And it was Aaron Rodgers. They were trying to promote the Packers and the Bears, right? And uh, they were playing cult of personality in that commercial to promote Aaron Rodgers. I'm like, hold on, that's weird. I think CM Junk is the Aaron Rodgers of fake pro wrestling. I think even NBC knows it. The fact that they play cult of personality in an Aaron Rodgers commercial. That was wild. Listen, I think Tony Khan has upside and potential to become the biggest heel in all of fake pro wrestling if he decides to become an on-screen TV character. Listen, do you know what I hate the most? I hate when people ask me, what game am I playing in my videos? I'm like, listen, man, I don't mean to bash my audience because I think most of my audience are very, very smart people. But dude, what do you expect me to tell you, man? You just asked me, what game am I playing in my videos? I'm like, wow, come on, man. Like, how can you ask me that? And like you clearly see the 2k 23 title all over the video i'm like how can you say you are a fan of fake pro wrestling when you don't know what game i'm playing clearly raw and smackdown they advertise 2k 23 every week it's their most famous game like how can you not know what game i'm playing bruh fun fact i'm not playing call of duty i'm not playing fortnite Bro, like, what game do you think that I'm playing? <laughs> like, that's why I'm like, you have to be trolling to ask me something like that. What game am I playing? That's crazy, man. You clearly see the title all over the video. 2K23. Like, what the fuck? But, listen, if I had to give advice to Tony Khan, man, it would be, listen, man, you have to be an on-screen character from now on. If... You want to help all elite fake pro wrestling? You need to be an on-screen character. That is your only option. Because, listen, this is the funny part. His actions on social media is giving him go-away heat. Why? Because he comes off as a spoiled child who is a huge super mark for fake pro wrestling. Now, I do love his passion about his company. Okay, I respect that. But... I think he would get a hall pass for his actions if he was an on-screen character like this man and Eric Bischoff, right? Because he comes off as an unprofessional prick. Remember all that crap he said about Big Swole, which was very unprofessional. But if he was an on-screen character, I think people would have gave him a fucking hall pass because it would seem like he is trying to work a character to get heat. That's why Eric Bischoff was great during the late 90s because it felt like it was real in terms of, okay, this guy was on TV throwing shots at Vince Man and the WWF. So that made the rivalry more great and more realer. Tony Khan, his actions on social media, the fact that people know he ain't playing no dead character, this is the real him, it makes him look bad and all elite fake pro wrestling look even worse. Because it's like, damn, man, y'all got a mark as y'all owner. It's like, listen, it, like I said, if he was a TV character, this would be great. Because I feel like, okay, I would have gave him a fucking hall pass for talking shit about General Hall. Because he would be playing a dead character trying to get over. Just like Eric Bischoff, remember? Sleazy E? That was a character. That's why Nitro was so great. Because it came across as a work and reality with con man dude he looks like a unprofessional prick who was very very sensitive it's like bro why do you talk so much shit about people on social media um what heat are you trying to attract if you are not a tv character so that means you are attracting the wrong kind of heat towards your company if he was a tv character people would give him a fucking round of applause for being a great worker but nah, bro, you come across as a fucking asshole, as a billionaire. 
See, if this was a work, okay, I feel like people would give me a fucking round of applause, right? Because listen, let's say he was the devil. That would be great TV, right? See, I told him, listen, make Jack Perry the devil. Add reality to TV. I said, Cut, listen, people don't like Jack Perry. Okay, make him the fucking devil. But my second option was actually Tony Khan Man. I felt like maybe Tony Khan Man should be the devil. Like this man and the higher power. Like that makes sense. Listen, he needs a hall pass to act like this on social media. If not, like, bro, you look bad. <laughs> like, you look fucking bad. Dude, at least Easy E was a was a fucking character. At least Mr. McMahon was a character. Like, I would love to see Mr. McMahon back in, back in his prime talking shit on social media. That would have been great shit. So this clown on Fightful Select on Twitter, he said that if you don't like Tony Khan defending his wrestling company against his biggest opposition, maybe you should create your own company and run it the way that you like to run it. I'm like, wow, so you want us to be sons of a fucking billionaire? Bro, he did not earn that money. His dad earned it. He is a trust fund baby. Let me repeat, Tony Khan, man, is a trust fund baby. When it came to Vista Man, his father was not no damn billionaire. Listen, Vista Man, he is a self-made billionaire. So, but to say, start your own company, I'm like, bro, so anybody who tries to talk shit about Tony Khan, man, we have to keep quiet or start our own company? That makes absolutely no fucking sense. Listen, this dude ain't rich. His dad is rich. He is a fucking trust fund baby. That don't count. Bro, anybody who has money can start a company. Bro, EC3 has a company. <laughs> so, who gives a fuck? Bro, it's quite easy to start your own company about fake pro wrestling. That's not how that works. It's just, listen. I think Tony Khan, man, should be an on-screen character as a heel. Listen, why was Stone Cold so hot for such a long period of time? Because Stone Cold Steve Austin had a heel to work with, and that was Vince Man. That was his greatest foe. So, we all hate how the way Tony Khan, man, books Warlow. Okay, just imagine if Khan, man, was a heel on TV, and he was trying to bring down Warlow. Bruh, that would put him over. That would put over Wardlow as a character. Like I said, just imagine if Tony Khan man was the devil against Max. For example, what he said about Big Swole, I'm like, man, if he was a heel character on TV, that would have been a great line. He said about Big Swole, that would have made sense. But the fact that he's not, he comes across as a fucking unprofessional dickhead. That's how that comes across as. But if he was on TV, man, I think Tony Khan man can make all elite fake wrestling better if he was on TV. Being that dickhead he is on social media, he needs to bring that on TV. If he wants to look better, if he wants to look better, bruh, be on TV with this character. That's like, imagine him saying, you know what? I don't like big guys. I think they suck. Like, just imagine if he was on TV saying that kind of shit, right? Like what he said about Jennifer Hall, man, if he was a heel, that was a work. Okay, I wouldn't have no issue with it. What's the point of trashing Jennifer Hall if you are not trying to get heat, right? You are attracting bad heat. If you was on TV, you would be attracting good heat on your heel character. Just like Eric Bischoff, Easy e Like for example, there was a point in time where Eric Bischoff was kinda behind the scenes, right? Where nobody knew he was a booker. Uh, he was just a on-screen broadcaster. At first, then once he made the NWO, he became an on-screen TV character who was taking shots at Vince Man, but that gave him more heat for his TV character, right? It made no sense for Egg Bischoff to talk shit about Vince Man as a fucking broadcaster. <laughs> like, that made no sense. That's why, that's why Egg Bischoff, dude, he kept his mouth shut back in what, maybe 95, maybe 96, right? Remember, he was a quiet dude. He was a he was a, like a good guy, right? He was a good guy broadcaster. Then he turned heel. That's when he was talking shit about Raw and the WWF to get over his heel character as one of the main guys of the NWO. So it would have made no sense for Eric Bischoff to shit talk his competition 
back in fucking 94, 95, etc. Because there's zero to gain, right? There's zero to gain. It's like Tony Khan, man, he has it all twisted. He's trying to be Eric Bischoff, but bro, at least Eric Bischoff was on TV as a character trying to get heat. He was not acting like that before being on TV. He was not acting like that as a broadcaster, as a good guy. Like, that made no sense. He was not talking shit until he became a heel on TV with the NWO. And that made WCW better because it made it seem like it was real. The fact that he was the main booker, he was like what? A co he was like a what? A damn co-owner of the company. But he was talking shit about Vince Man. Remember, he was trying to challenge Vince Man to a fight. But that got him more heat. That makes sense. Like I said, listen. Until Tony Khan man agrees to be a, a on-screen TV personality, he needs to keep his fucking mouth shut. Because, bro, you are an executive who's not on TV. This makes your business look bad. You look like an unprofessional dickhead by trying to throw Jinder Mahal under the bus for no reason. Imagine talking crap about Jinder Mahal for no reason. That was wild. But, but, if he was the leader of the undisputed kingdom doing all this man listen tony Khan, man don't fucking realize man you can help your company by yourself bro just agree to be on tv as a personality it's like listen he is a fucking mark for fake pro wrestling okay prove it it's like i don't get it for example there was a point in time where this man did not want to be on tv this was the late 90s i heard that he did not want to be on tv but he realized that, you know what? He equals ratings. So he kept being on TV. Listen, owners, they equal ratings. Bookers, they equal ratings. And here's what I mean. When Eric Bischoff was on TV as a heel, he was a heat magnet because people love seeing a boss who is a real life boss on TV as a bad guy. That's why this man was so great because people knew he was the boss in real life and on TV. So, yes, that makes sense. Tony Khan, man, he's trying to do that, but but behind a damn keyboard, right? Where he's trying to be Mr. McMahon behind a keyboard. Nah, bro, that's not how that works. You are not on TV. So you are just playing yourself, right? You are yourself on social media. You are not on TV. So it makes you look like a spoiled prick by your actions. Like, he is fucking petty. Petty as shit, right? This dude said that uh, for the first time ever, John Cena and Taker were not on the show with over 1 million views. I'm like, bro, say that as a heel character. If not, bro, you come across as a spoiled brat. But if you was a TV spoiled brat, now we're talking. Okay, that's, that's different because now it's okay. You are trying to get heel heat on your TV character. But you are not. Every time he talks shit on social media, he puts watch Dynamite on Wednesday. Well, why? Okay, why should we? If we are not going to see you, right? You talking all this shit, but you ain't trying to back it up. I want to see your ass on TV talking all that shit you do on Twitter X. If not, you are a keyboard warrior. That's what he is. He is, a, he is the typical faceless keyboard warrior who does not want to show his face. He is that guy. That's what I mean. But like I said, owners and bosses, they equal ratings. Paul Heyman, he was an on-screen character for ECW. That made ECW more greater, right? We want to see the real-life boss on TV talking shit because it bodes well with reality versus fake pro wrestling. Like I said, Tony Khan, man, can save his company. He can build up better ratings. Bro, just become an on-screen authority figure. Can you imagine a feud between Wartlow and Tony Khan, man? Man, that, that will draw tons of money. Imagine a feud between, I don't know, uh, fucking Tony Khan, man, and fucking Jay White. Right? Imagine a feud between Max and Tony Khan, man. That's money. Right? That's money. Give Khan, man, his own faction. Just like Mr. Man. It's like he is missing on tons of money. It's like, listen, man, he loves to talk a big game on Twitter. Okay, bring that big game to TNT, TBS. Listen, I would never ever forget when Eric Bischoff challenged Mr. Man to a fight. Listen, 
I would love to see Triple H and Tony Khan in that kind of feud. I would love to see Tony Khan challenging Shawn Michaels to a fight. Like, that would be money. That would be a ratings grabber. That's what I'm saying. It's like, Khan Man, he acts like a dick on Twitter. But what for? <laughs> like, you are the head of the company and you are not on TV. That makes your brand look bad. Can you imagine the bosses at fucking Walmart talking shit on social media? For example, who was the biggest draws of the Attitude Era? To me, number one, it was Vista Man. And number two, it was Eric Bischoff. That's facts. I'm sorry. That's facts. Once the NWO came and Eric Bischoff turned heel, that's when they made tons and tons of money. After Vista Man turned into Mr. McMahon, that's when they made billions of dollars. That's my point. When you add real life bosses on TV, that equals money. I think Tony Khan man should realize that. It's like, listen, he wants to be a part of the show so bad. Okay, prove it. Bring your ass to television. Start your own faction like this man did and Eric Bischoff did, right? The NWO, um, the fucking corporation, remember? That's what I mean. Bosses equal ratings. People loved the feud between Vista Man and Stone Cold Steve Austin. People think Vista Man is the greatest heel of all time, and that's facts. So, Tony Khan, man, he can make a big star if he wanted to, like Vista Man did, like Eric Bischoff did. Um, Bischoff made Sting a star, remember? The NWO versus Sting? That's my point. Khan, man, he has gold right in front of him. So, who would be the guy he can make a big time star? Maybe a Max or a Wartlow or a Hobbs. Dudes that should be pushed more. Dudes that should have a higher spot on the car. I feel like, man, he can make his brand tons of money. All he has to do is agree to be an on-screen character heel like this man. Then his, his behavior on social media will be tolerated now. Because now, okay, he's trying to work a fake character. Okay, now, okay, I can see him talking shit about Triple H and Shawn Michael. Okay, I can see it now. But now it's like, nah, bro, you look bad doing it. <laughs> bro, you are a guy behind a keyboard. You, bro, you should be seen, but not heard. Because you are the owner of this brand. You are a billionaire. You should be seen, but not heard. So my advice is, man, Con Man should be a TV character. Well, I think he should be a, a heel authority figure like Eric Bischoff and this man. Okay, I'm done.